did it my way. Black ball from the game, call me catch the way. Waiting on my downfall, gotta stay ahead. Don't just cut me off, bitch, just hanging by a thread. What is going on, y'all? It's your boy Johnny Dunn 7, and we back with another one. The VV Vlog Pod number three. This is my profile here on the uh, VV app, Johnny Dunn 7. Go through my Dragon Girls, Nightwing, Rizzo, Robin. Some of my favorite ones, man. The Ritmo, the Amanda Connor was my first one. A lot, the Starfire, the Barda, man. Take you through some of my, uh, I think my most underrated collections, the collection pieces I got. First one, Dragon Girl, the gold one. I mean, there's only 888 of these in the world. Like, I think these are going to be some of the biggest pieces in the future, man. I think with the first artist alley drop, I think these are big pieces. I love the way the gold and silver looks. Nightwing, everybody knows who was there, like the first 20K users, how hard this drop was. So to have two of these, unbelievable. There's only one Nightwing in the entire 100 series of uh, Batman. It's an FA, $90. It was the first time there was ever a limit too. You could only get two at retail on the drop. So I think it's a big piece. I'm lucky to have two of these. Got them both at retail, so what a blessing. <laughs> Ritmo, I think all these pieces in the future are going to be animated. Not all, but pretty much most of them, like season two, three, four. So to have the first animated, the fully animated ever, I think it's going to be such an underrated piece. I think I still wish I got more of them. <laughs> the crazy thing about that is that's a fully animated, and we got Starfire here who's half animated, the fire moves. So that's going to be a big piece too. And then Big Barda. There's only a thousand of each of these, and Big Barda was the first fully colored, so I think that's going to be a huge reason that both these pieces are going to be big. Only got one of each, though, but happy about them for sure. And then my favorite, we got the Todd McFarlane, man. I got six of these bad boys. You cannot find a sub-1000 series like for under maybe like 700 right now. These are It's the first collectible ever on the VV app, so to have that is just unbelievable. You definitely need one of those. I'm going to take you through uh, David Yude's following. I think he teases so much in here about what's coming. Like, there's so many Toki Doki, there's Marvel. I'm not going to confirm anything, but I'm a big believer that they have so many licensed brands. Like, they, they said they cornered the market. Like, I think they got everybody. You can see Lamborghini there. Like, I don't think they're playing around. <laughs> I think they got movies, Mark Wahlberg. Maybe this is, like, just who he's fans of. Absolutely could be. But they're following Toki Doki. They're following a lot of artists that they did work with. So, I mean, it could be speculating, sure. Like, Cause, I think they got art from Cause. And if you don't know who Cause is, he's a huge street artist. We got Virgil Abloh. Like, I think we, we're, we're going to see huge, huge names, I think. Is he a fan of Will Smith? Do we got movies coming? Who knows? <laughs> It wouldn't put me past anything. We got Ron English. I mean, he's a fan of, and we're working with him. So, sky's the limit. We got Floyd. We got Connor. We got Louis Vuitton. I think we got Louis Vuitton. We got Supreme. Maybe. Not confirm it, but I really believe it, man. Tokidoki brand. And this is his actual profile. Like, look at this Monster Hunter. Look at the animation on it. Can you imagine Pokemon like this? Like, you know it's coming. Like, I think he's been teasing for years, like, what's about to come. If you just go on David Yu's Instagram, I mean, Sony, isn't that a licensed brand that everybody's been thinking? Look at the PlayStation. I mean, I'm just guaranteeing that in the next couple of years, Vivi's going to be huge. We know the Batmobile's coming. I just think it's awesome that he's had the vision this whole time. And the fact that the world's almost ready for it now, it's just unbelievable. I love people like this. Look down at the dates some of these were posted. It's unbelievable. Definitely suggest you go into David Hughes' Instagram and just look in. He's sharing the birthday with Bentley. Like, look at the futuristic. You know the futuristic cars are coming. Like, they can't confirm this stuff, and they, they're not gonna for reasons, like they said, agreements with the brands. And also, he's a collector. This is built by collectors. It's so much more fun not knowing. Like, look what he's doing. <laughs> like, it's unbelievable. The Simpsons, I'm so, I think they got everything, man. The Simpsons, Pokemon, like, I think they got it all. 
but I'm not here to speculate and confirm anything until they do it. But that's just my personal thoughts. A lot of people have been asking me, like, what license do I think they have? And you can check all that stuff out. I just did an interview with uh, VV Flipper. Shout out VV Flipper. Like, look what he did way back when. He took a picture with <laughs> Vitalik, and then we moved to Ethereum. Like, unbelievable. Like, I'm just so bullish on this project, man. Not, not only just because of the fundamentals, but the people involved. Like, that's what people don't get. Like... It's an app built by collectors. Like that's what you can see from it. And I just love the team so much and I'm happy to be a part of it. And just a couple of things I want to address. One thing is people keep talking about the OMI price, the OMI token and all this. And honestly me, I'm investing in the token too, but I don't even look at the price. Like I just throw it in the MetaMask and I don't look at it. Like the, if you have it in the trust wallet, turn off the little number thing. Like it's like the top right. I think it is. Um, because you're going to be paying attention to the up, down. Like, the one person who bought the Beeple artwork for, like, $67 million, I think it was. He's a billionaire, and he keeps 99% of his money in crypto. He doesn't even check his wallet. That's what he said. Because he'd be up and down millions. And you don't look at that because it messes with your psyche. It's not just you. It's everybody. It's literally psychology. So I would just throw it in your MetaMask. So that way you don't look at it. Or if you have the trust wallet, you can just throw it in there and just toggle a little switch so turns off how much it's worth like just so you know how much you got that way you stop looking at the price day to day um unless you're a day trader and if you're a day trader god bless your soul <laughs> you know what i mean like it's hard it's hard work um i'm more of a person that just likes to invest long term in companies definitely and the other thing i want to address real quick too is just the marketplace like people are like oh it's down a little bit like you got to think like it's only down like the number that is being sold, like the amount that are in the actual marketplace for each collectible keeps decreasing. And what that means is less and less are for sale each day. If you look, maybe there's, I think there was about 330 Todd's and now there's like 310 Todd's left. Like the lowest price, people just keep undercutting each other, but that's not going to last very long. There's only, it keeps decreasing. Um, and, and if you don't believe me, I don't want you just to take my word. I want you to like, look at it, like, look how many, um, are for sale and then look at it a week from then. And it's going to keep decreasing. Also, you got to think about this. I called this a little bit ago. Originally, like you're going to see prices dip a little bit and then they're going to skyrocket. People are going to get tired of seeing the same Batman for sale, the same, this for sale, like until new drops keep happening. And then the OG stuff from season one is going to skyrocket because people are holding on to them. So those are just the two things I want to address because people keep worrying about the smallest things. Sometimes they don't have the vision or it gets clouded because they're too invested in the OMI token and they're looking at the day-to-day -day price. Like you kind of just got to step back and look at the long-term vision and some of the things. And I just wanted to clear that up. VV Vlog Pod, number three, we out. It's your boy, Johnny Dunn 7. Every day and I did it my way. Black ball from the game, come and catch the wave.